Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Dalita, your faith lifestyle woman with and creativity channel. I remain your girl, your mommy, your sister Ellen Alabi. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks for always coming back. If this is your first time of coming to this YouTube channel, don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that when we post a new video, you will sit back and enjoy. Yeah, did you see the topic we're going to be discussing today? Yeah, I've been strong for a while and I just get better. That's why I've not that's why I've not been creating content for a while. And so today we're gonna to be talking on the topic. Yeah, yeah, I'm getting better, getting better. Yeah, there's something I really want to say as a Nigerian wife. Being a wife in this Nigeria is a few, so that's the truth. If you're not careful, if you're single, I'll start with this. Enjoy your singleness to the core. You can't imagine me. I'm a traveler. Like, I love traveling. Traveling is what I love doing. And I've not traveled like I used to do in two years. My marriage became two years, November 7. And I've not really traveled like... And sometimes I just I just tell myself that I'm grateful that I, I, was, I lived my singleness. I enjoyed my singleness. Like, I enjoyed my singleness. Enjoy your singleness because... It can be frustrating when you get married. If you're actually pushed to get married, you'll be pushed to have a baby. Even if you don't want to, you'll be pushed to have one. After having the first one, you'll be pushed to have the second one. Yes, back to a topic. When my baby was six months into, I started getting people advising me to get pregnant again. Me, where be sad, just they get my life back. As in, if you've been pregnant before, like you've been a, a, a pregnant woman getting married, and you've been pregnant before, you will understand that the others that go, yes, we, we have supernatural childbirth and all of that, but you can't just be the same. You can't just, you can't just really be the same. No, 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 it can't be. And so, saying me that we are just they gather my life together, they can't say make I get belay again. <sighs> Like, that's why I say that if you're pushing to a lot of things, for me, after wedding, I wanted to wait, like, I, I, I really told, like, I don't know if I told God or something, that I didn't want to take it immediately, like, two, three months, at least blend with your husband, not taking immediately nine months after, I, like, and you give birth, what works for the good does not work for the ganda, don't take me wrong, but I just feel a little more of blending after honeymoon with your husband for taking in, and this thing and now saying okay now make a con they do my CC small back oh that was I started getting advances and pregnant when I was sick ah oh mom when I was sick and everything funny enough these nurses they don't even matter when I got to the hospital they asked me are you married I said yes they said okay oh before they can treat me I they will have to do okay my husband's like okay because my husband took me to the hospital I was like, okay, yeah, I'm the husband. Like, okay, when was the last time you did this? This is like, okay, we have to run a test on you. We have to run tests before we can administer. I said, this is part not even helping matter. Like, they're not even helping matter. They said they have to run before they can administer everything. They can do this. And I just feel like, hey, this is what I was even saying, that, okay, ah, maybe next year or something, get maybe. But the truth is, eh? I recently I spoke with a friend who has a baby that was a year and six months and she took in she actually did not want to take in fine mistakes can happen but she took in and she was like her huh, babe go easy she posted recently that she just won't have a getaway without children like without her children that she's not thinking straight what I just feel is and more so this economy do you know how much diaper is like uh, pampers rather Yes, Pampas diaper is the same thing. Do you know how much diaper is? And you buy when I calculate estimate per month. Yes, I know we are helped heavenly financially, but there is need aside the fact that as a woman you need to eat. Yes, it's time pass. They'll tell you do what you want to do, sharp, sharp, and you just go and everything. But the truth is, I just feel you need to get your life. People will tell you, eh, do fast, fast so that you can rest in this economy where there is no money. You just have to give yourself brain after the first child at least two years in between before taking in the truth is we as women when we marry it's a new it's transcendent 
to a new level like you're transitioning to another level and you just you just need to take things slow so that you don't get worn out emotionally you don't go get worn out let's say okay now eventually let's say that and now you did and i and i, I take him before you know it's now they start saying i should take him for the third born know what works for you for me I just feel like I'm just trying to get my life back. Like, I'm not saying getting a baby, that's the best gift that God can give me. It's bad. But I'm saying uh, we should apply wisdom to this. There are some circumstances that happen without planning it. But the truth is, with God's help, you can plan it. It's not easy going through distress and also being a career woman. There are a lot of things that will be on hold. And listen, when you were, get, when you were in courtship with your husband, you determine okay this is the number of years we want to for family planning if need be now there are a lot of family planning that they said has been that has that that is you, before i heard all of those family but there is one now that they will insert in the hand and they said it's effective insert in the hand that is not like others that will feel as much as i don't really know the name but i think walk towards it once those give birth immediately just go and do it so that you avoid story that touch and if mistakes happens yes know that is mistake that happen but plan properly towards it eh see we are going through a lot of emotional stress you won't think about what the child will eat tomorrow you want to think about as the child is growing when you want to have a child it should be that the the one you are having a child after can walk can eat can do some things on his or her own before you have this sin that can there are a lot of things it can if you get back through cs it can be dangerous for you even if it's not through cs it, it might not really your body has not really healed and so i just feel this this is it i am not pregnant i just decided to share my story with you and tell you that cm whether we like it or not women are going through a lot of stress and so there is need for proper planning. It's different between to say we want to give birth to three children and we decide, okay, how do we giving birth to children and not being able to provide for them is the worst that we can do as parents. In fact, it's a sin for you to give birth to children. So if it is one you can give birth to at a time, get the space, look at your finances, work with your finances, speak to people. Even if there are pressures from people around, give birth and do it. Just keep telling them motive but i've heard you you are the one that if hey, it happens now you are the one that knows you have to do for hospital bill baby things and all of that if you don't give birth to the same gender and so now you don't want to repeat the same dresses you wear for so it's you you and you alone determine what works for you and your husband and stick to it don't allow anybody pressurize you one of my friends was saying something that if you are priorized to marry, as a coming out of the uh, the all, they'll be telling you, yeah, baby. Once you give birth to one, they'll start saying, ah, oh, they wash it see. So just know what works for you, work with it, and be a woman, be happy. Thank you very much for listening to my TED talk. <laughs> I remain your girl Elena Labi, and if you're a returning subscriber, thank you once again. And if you've not subscribed, subscribe, comment, share and share your view in the comment section to like come your way again thank you bye